Did you know that there are some long side story chains in Final Fantasy XIV that are probably some of the best written content in the game? Let's talk about these phenomenal, secret, well-written stories so you can play this amazing content too. Now, I won't ruin the actual stories, this just tells you generally what they're about and how to get to them. Big bonus is that a lot of these have unique emotes and glamours that are related to the side story, so there's no reason to really not want to do them. First up is one that many players already know and that is Hildebrand. Now if you have not done these at all, you're missing out on some of the most entertaining stories within the game. Now keep in mind that side stories have no direct correlation to the main story, but I feel like they allowed the writers to create these gems just for us players to appreciate. Now the Hildebrand side story is probably the longest side story on this list and will take a little while to complete. This being because they have released new story content for this side quest now surmounting over 30 plus quests. They also just announced in the live letter that it is confirmed that they're going to release more of these side stories in Endwalker 6.0 roadmap. You might want to start these now in order to be caught up so you can enjoy the brand new content that comes out. This side story not only has emotes and glamours associated but also some trials. So it's a really important side story to do if you're looking to unlock everything in the game. To start the Hildebrand questline you'll first speak to Waimon in Ulda. He is located between the main etherite and the adventurers guild except the level 50 quest the rise and fall of the gentleman to begin and buckle in your seatbelts for the ride of your lifetime now that we have the most iconic one out of the way let's talk about some even more hidden ones that i didn't even know about which made me want to make this video the next one is incredibly adorable and that is the moogle delivery side quest now this isn't nearly as lengthy but it still is 20 ish side quest which is nothing to scoff at in this adorable adventure, when a delivery goes awry, you are helping a delivery moogle set things right and venture off to mail a simple letter. Now at first I was like, what's going on here? But this was an adorable little side quest, which probably has one of my favorite glamours as a prize, which I will not be showing, but just know that you can't wear it as a Viera. But I do love to use it on my alt characters. You can start this quest in Mordona by this quest giver right here. Next up is Winebod's Riddles, The Greatest Story Never Told. Now this is a particular interesting side quest as it's very challenging and for those who like to figure out world puzzles. In this particular one, you start it in Wester Thonalon with the quest The Greatest Story Never Told. You will be helping Valiant solve some of the world's biggest mysteries. Now with the nature of this side quest, you're probably going to have to Google it in order to complete it as you have no help from your map or your journal. You only have to go off what they say. But if you like a challenge and to figure out answers by unscrambling text, then this might be the side story for you. Just to show you an example, one of the NPCs you have to talk to right at the beginning of the side quest doesn't have any marker over them at all. You just have to figure out who it is. What's even more is that everyone's version is going to be different. There are three different versions to this, so you won't have the same one as a friend if you both start it. All you get is a nifty achievement for completing this side story. This is definitely one of those the journey is the destination type of side quest with no real reward, but it is still kind of interesting. And you need the achievement if you want to be a completionist. Next up, we move to Ishgard, where we'll be starting the quest called Keeping the Ledger from Maith. After the truth of Ishgard's history is revealed, the students of the Holy See's finest seminary find themselves in a precarious position. The Warrior of Light joins a familiar face in investigating the trials and tribulations of the future clergymen and women of Ishgard. This is a little smaller with a total of 13 quests, and this gives you just a little bit more closure on what is to happen to the future of Ishgard while rewarding you with a great emo and some really cute glamour to boot. It really is nice to see a company like Square Enix put so much time and effort in building out character lines to the point where the side quest can even have you in awe sometimes. Be aware though if you do not see the next quest line for this specific side story then you have some prerequisite quests to complete first. As an example you cannot do the second quest of Scholasticate quest line which is the one here in Ishgard, if you did not complete the Hildebrand quest called The Last Vow. So I would focus on Hildebrand first. If at any reason you get stuck in any of these side stories, just a quick Google and it will pull it up 
to the prerequisites and things you need in order to further that side quest. I don't believe any others have a prerequisite like this, so just for this one particularly, just do the Hildebrand quest first. Now do not stray too far from Ishgard as our next secret quest line starts here and this one's going to hit you right in the fills. So if you have not completed Heaven's Ward yet, I would skip this particular section. You have been warned for spoiler warnings. This one is called Tales of the Dragon Song War Side Quest. This is about Orshvan. And yes, I looked up how to say that, so hopefully it is correct, even though we probably were all saying Horchafont, who ends up being the champion of our hearts through the rest of the story. Only five quests that will have you reminiscing the past with a particular house in Ishgard, the House of Four Temps. You not only get a achievement, but you also get a special emote to commemorate this quest line. Now, if you do know other quests on this guide, doing this one will be enough. You can start this quest from the manservant location in Ishgard by the quest called Paths We Walk. This is located in the House for Temps Manor that you have access to and make sure to bring some tissues. Swerving on that emotional damage and moving on to our very last side quest, I want to mention something that's a little more upbeat and positive and that is the Domen Reconstruction quest line. This one is weirdly missed by many players for some reason even though it's a blue unlock but after Stormblood you'll be able to aid in the Domen Reconstruction. Once you complete this quest, the main story quest Elation and Trepidation and a Thousand and One Farewells Blue and Lock quest, you can finally start the Domen Enclave with the blue quest Precious Reclamation. This is one of my personal favorite side quest lines that actually is weekly gated and takes a few weeks to complete. How Final Fantasy XIV has managed to make you feel a part of something within the game is just really hard for me to grasp sometimes. You'll be donating Gil every single week in order to further this quest line. One of the biggest accomplishments that I really enjoy about Final Fantasy XIV is having an area transform as you help build it or rebuild it. We usually see this with Beast Tribe Quest or Tribe Quest as they're wanting to call them now. But this is a really big area that you'll be transforming and I actually use this as a spot for a lot of my thumbnails in my videos. You will not regret diving in to be the savior of Doma and help rebuild this suffering community. It doesn't hurt either that you get a really cool Kagane style glamour piece at the end of this either. On top of, it also doesn't hurt that we get to see Daddy Hien again. Now in the recent live letter, there is a bonus story coming soon called Totaru's Grand Adventure that will be dropping sometime in the 6.x roadmap series, sometime in 6.1 or 6.2. With how much effort they put in with the previous old content, I can only imagine how amazing this new adventure is going to be. I hope that I could shed some light on these awesome, not so well-known side stories in Final Fantasy XIV and you really get to enjoy them as much as I did. Comment down below if you knew about some of these or if you've done them all. I want to give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. As if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be able to put out regular content like this. If you want to support or join my public discord, then you can find those links down in the description box by clicking on the link tree. I also am starting to live stream on Twitch, so if you could take the time and go hit follow over there, that would be much appreciated. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.